This conference will now be recorded. Hello guys, welcome to Kumar Consulting. Uh, so guys, in this session, I'm going to start basic settings. Basic setting means uh, in the previous session, I said like we have to do, uh, you know, enterprise structure and basic setting. Enterprise st structure means like uh, we have defined the group company, we have defined company code, we have assigned company with company code, we have defined different different business areas and all. Now, what next case? Then we are having several other things also which we have to configure, which we have to configure. What we have to configure, guys, like that is fiscal year, financial year. Whenever we are going to, you know, like the financial year in the sense like we are having calendar year or non-calendar year. So like whether we are going to use calendar year or non-calendar year, how SAP will come to know. So what we have to do, first of all, we have to define a financial year and then we have to assign with the company code in the sense with our company code, whichever we have created. So this is how SAP will come to know that, okay, we are going to use calendar year or we are going to use non-calendar year. Then we are having posting period, where posting period also. Posting period means what? So look at here. There are several things. There are several things which is which will come under basic settings. We'll explain one by one. So here fiscal year variant, posting period variant, but uh, generally I was supposed to explain fiscal year variant, but I will explain posting period variant first and then we'll explain fiscal year. Okay, because uh, this is how your understanding will be better. So first of all, I'll just make like this instead of fiscal year okay so we'll define posting period variant then fiscal year variant field status variant so what are these all things that we are going to discuss in details don't worry now look at here posting period variant so what is this posting period variant now look at here posting period variant control the posting of transaction for a specific period posting of a transactions posting of transactions for a specific period now say for example i'll tell you okay say for example this Tata motor is there and if Tata motor is using like still they are maintaining the registers and all or is they are using any small ERPs and all so what is happening there will be certain employees like let's suppose there is an employee so what is happening this guy he received this A has received an invoice on which date he received an invoice on let's suppose 25th or let's suppose 22nd this A has received an invoice let's suppose a uh, vendor had sent their invoice on 22nd of February and this invoice was received now let's suppose this employee has received this invoice and he is supposed to uh, what to say post or record this invoice immediately if they are using the books of like sales register purchase purchase register then they, they have to enter this they have to record this tran this transactions or else even if they are using certain ERPs and all then what will happen they they have to record this transactions immediately but what he thought that let's suppose he received this invoice late in the sense like in the evening or like afternoon post lunch and all and he thought okay i'll post this invoice tomorrow once i come back uh, once i come to office tomorrow i'll post it 
due to certain reason let's suppose this guy has forgotten to post this invoices and this invoice instead of 20 second now what is happening guys he forgotten to post this invoice kept somewhere in the drawer and for 10 days or 12 days it was there itself okay now we are now we are on 15th of march now we are on 15th of march so what will happen guys we are in 15th of march so here then all of a sudden he realized that there was an invoice which i which i forgotten to post or might be at the month end at the month end let's suppose it is 22nd of march or 25th of march right then immediately then then what will happen then vendor is going to ask the status of invoices like payment status of that invoices so let, let's suppose after one month we have promised our vendors that okay we'll make a payment after a month or after 30 days so let's suppose this is 25th of march 20 sorry this is 25th of march so on 25th of march the invoice was supposed to be posted this was supposed to be posting date so invoice was supposed to be posted on this date and after 30 days it is going to be due so on 24th of march it is supposed to be due now on 25th 25th of march let's suppose vendor is going to ask the status of this invoice okay status of let's suppose uh, invoice number xyz so this query is raised by vendor and there will be certain account payable help this help this team will be there so they will just start searching in sap okay this is the invoice number now what they found there is no invoice number in the system in the sense that invoice number is not available in the system so what will happen then then they are going to <clears throat> invoice posting team is there they will write a mail to invoice posting team they are not going to get back to the vendor saying that this invoice is not available because they know that if vendor has raised these issues it means of course they have sent the invoices and there might be the carelessness because of carelessness of our back-end team uh, this invoice might not be posted in sap so they will just write a mail to the invoice posting team that uh, this is the you know query raised by vendor and we are unable to find out this invoice in the system so you just let me know whether really you have received this invoice or not so once it it came to invoice posting team then that guy has seen this mail and then what is happening then he realized oh my god i i received one invoice one month back and i forgotten to post it into system right so now what will happen guys then he realized that he started searching where is that invoice and then he found particularly then then he was able then he uh, you know remembered that okay i kept it somewhere in the drawer or somewhere and then he is going to post the invoice okay then that guy is going to post the invoice okay so that invoice is going to be posted see as per this accounting principles or rules uh, transactions must be you know recorded whenever it is taking place okay so transaction must be recorded whenever it is taking place when this was when we have received the invoices we have received received the invoices in february month worth of let's suppose 1000 rupees okay say for example worth of 1000 rupees uh, invoice we have received but we are in march month we are in march month but still what will happen now this guy this guy is going to uh if they are maintaining the registers and all then what will happen he is going to bring out the february month register and simply somewhere they are going to somewhere he is going to adjust this entry it is pretty simple it's pretty easy to adjust this entry because in that register somewhere he is going to use this whitener or something and then uh, or somewhere he is going to adjust this entry set up. even there are some small small ERPs are there in that also simply they will 
be able to post the transactions in the previous month also previous month means it is called previous period right so simply this guy has posted this transaction in february month and now it is going to be due in march month okay it is going to be due in march month so it was posted in february month in march month it it become due in the sense like even though it is 25th of march but it was going to be posted this invoice is going to be posted in previous month and then 25th of march 24th of march it, it become due system will show that it is due and then what will happen 25th or 26th they are going to release the payment and this is how they are going to hide the mistake now here the question is then what is the problem where is the problem because of course he has forgotten to post this invoice but he realized then he posted this invoices once again and the payment payment was released so here there is no issues case but the problem is <clears throat> when this invoice was posted we are in april month right sorry we are in march month in march month he realized that he forgotten this invoices and then he was posted this invoices in in february sorry in february month in the sense in previous month he has posted in previous month registered he has uh, what to say let's suppose uh, recorded this invoice in february month let's suppose in february month we are already having let's suppose certain transactions already posted 2000 4000 1500 2500 okay these are the transactions which has been let's suppose recorded in february month okay now what is happening now we have entered in march month so february month register is closed and now whatever the new transactions are there that is going to be recorded in march month registers now what is happening this guy this guy has made a mistake that february month invoice was not recorded now once he is able to remember again he he has brought this february month register and he recorded this 1000 also okay this 1000 also okay but the problem is whenever we are going to whenever we are going to post the invoices whenever we are going to record the invoices then as per rule we have to deduct certain tds on those let's suppose invoices let's suppose this is related to the service and all this what is this tds and how to configure this is going to discuss in detail guys there will be separate session on this so whenever we are posting this invoices we need to deduct certain tds okay let's suppose 10 percent tds we have to deduct so now how much the total tds is like let's suppose on this let's suppose i'll just keep this here okay so now on this amount we are going to deduct certain tds okay so on 2000 200 rupees will be tedious on 4000 400 rupees 150 and 250 tds we have deducted okay this much tedious we have deducted so how much it is guys it is 1000 rupees 1000 rupees now what will happen now 1000 rupees tds was deducted and at the end of the month at the end of the february month this is going to be whatever this uh, tds has been deducted those amounts are going to be remitted to the respective tax department okay because whichever tds we are deducting whichever amount we are deducting that we cannot keep in our own pocket since this is our liability we are liable to pay this amount to somebody okay so whatever the tax tax authority or whoever the respective tax department is there we are going to remit we are going to make this payment so how much we have made payment guys 
total we have made payment of total TDS we have paid how much total 1000 okay 200 plus 400 plus 150 plus 250 so total payment we have made of 1000 now now what is happening <coughs> this guy is going to post this invoice this guy is going to post this invoice of 1000 in February month so as per rule as per rule we have to deduct 100 rupees TDS here 100 rupees TDS also supposed to be deducted okay but this 100 rupees TDS was deducted but generally what is happening this is not deposited this is not deposited this transactions belongs to february month so this tds was also supposed to be deducted in february month itself but this whatever this deduction is there that is going to be like whatever this amount is there let's suppose that is going to be deposited in march month okay so this is called malpractice guys why because once the audit happened once the audit happened then auditor will even like whatever TDS you guys are going to deposit let's suppose you'll be having certain slips certain challenge or whatever the things are there so once the audit is happening the auditor will see that okay though total total transactions worth of 11,000 right total TDS got deducted 1100 but total TDS got deposited how much only 1000 rupees in February month right it means they are doing some malpractices and all they are stealing the tax this is not a good practice at all and any reputed organizations always want to avoid such kind of things so here there is no fault of management where is the fault there is a fault of the user they have made a mistake but people will be very careless why because they know that okay even if i forgotten to post an invoice even if I have forgotten to post any transactions, what will happen? We are having the registers and all, and we'll we'll make some uh, what to say, we'll we'll edit and we'll we are going to adjust the entries in the respective registers and all. So this transaction, this transactions, let's suppose. So there are several transactions which is taking place, and whatever the let's suppose auditor, whatever the audits are happening, so they will pick. Uh, random basis let's suppose they are going to check the entries and all so there might be a chances that they will come to know about this that they, they might not come to know about this right so if they come to know about this then again there will be a question will be raised from management like why it is happening and again there will be the there will be issues like who has done who has done these things who has made this mistake isn't it so lots of problem will be there and even the such kind of uh, amendments are possible in the small ERPs also but now here we'll talk about SAP okay now we'll talk about SAP so what will happen once again in SAP also now let's suppose this Tata motor Tata motor had switched from this registers or whatever this other ERPs are there from there they have switched to SAP so in SAP, what is happening, guys? In SAP, we are having an option called period open and close option. Okay, period open and close option. What is this period open and close option, guys? Let's suppose we are using, like, let's suppose we are using calendar year, Jan to December. Jan means first period. Uh, this February means second period. Likewise, December is 10th period. So as for this one, since February means second period, period and March means third period, period. So now, let's suppose this guy A has done the same thing. February month invoice, he received the invoice in February month and then forgotten to post this invoice now we have entered in March month so what is happening guys in SAP we are having a functionality to open and close this posting period 
okay so let's suppose i'll make in this variant tm04 so what is happening in february month we have opened a period to let's suppose 2019 to 2019 okay this is how we are having offs it means whenever we are going to post a transaction we can post transactions only in february month okay here if from period 2 and this is year this is two period two and this is year it means whenever you are going to post any transactions in february month let's suppose 01 02 2019 your system will check your month is second right it means february february 2019 so whenever you are going to post a transactions in february 2019 system will check here which period is open so here system is finding that period number second of 2019 okay from period means second and here two period also second it means only february is open if you give your from period one 2019 to from period sorry two period two 2019 then what is happening which periods are open guys january is also open and february is also open it means from one to two it means from january to uh, what to say february we have opened okay now if we say it we, if we are going to make it two it means only february period is open for transaction posting so you post it for 15th or 02 2019 here also system is going to allow you to post your transaction because look at the month it is february only February 2019 and this February month we have already open it means system is going to allow you to post but if you post any transactions let's suppose of let's suppose 2401-2019 system will not allow you to post the transactions why because look at here the month month is 01 in the sense this is january so here january is not allowed why because january month is not open only february is open from period two and two period two means only february january is not open and even if you are trying to buy mistake even if you have uh, given like instead of 25th 02 you have given 03 2019 this is called posting the transactions in future period in future month so these things also these mistakes also you are going to give this month by mistake so this is also going to be avoided by system system will not allow you to post any transaction in future month also right so this is the major advantage of period open and close activity this is manually we have to open and close Manually, we have to open and close this period. So whenever we are going to enter in next month, what is happening? Previous period will be closed and new period will be open. So now this guy has received this invoices on 22nd and he forgot him to post. Now, after one month, he realized that, yes, this was the mistake. So now what is happening? Let's suppose we are in 25th of March. Okay and vendor escalated these things and then account payable helpless team sent a mail to invoice posting team and this guy has seen that okay we have received this email and then he realized his mistake so now he is very much habituated of the the small practices in the sense they used to do this adjustment if they used to adjust the entries and all right so now now what will happen guys now here so again once he has received this mail from account payable help this team then what is happening carelessly he is going to post the invoices because he has to post this invoices on 22nd itself so he is going to post the invoices on 22nd he will give 22nd 
2019. But since we are in March month, so what is happening, guys? Management is going to change the period, and here the period will be March month is open. From period three and two period also three. It means March month is open. Okay. So once the March month is open, then what will happen? This guy is going to give a period. This guy is going to give the posting date 22nd 02. System will not allow him to post the invoice. Why? Because we are going to give month of February, but February month is already closed. Only March month is open. It means always system is going to allow you to post any invoices in March month itself. But since this invoice belongs to February month, he must have to post this invoices in February month itself. Or else if the February month invoices are going to be posted in March month, that is going to be again a big issue. There are lots of other concepts also guys, which will come into picture later. That terms of payment, which is going to uh, determine the you know due dates and all. So again, that is a separate explanation, and there will be a separate session on that. But right now, we have started our configuration just now. So here, first of all, theoretically, I'll try to clarify the logics, and then we'll see how we are going to do it practically. Okay. So now here, he this guy is trying to post these transactions in February month, but here, what is happening? management has already closed February month. Okay, from period three and two period three means except March, everything is closed. No future posting, no past posting. Now this guy is totally shocked. Oh, what happened? Because earlier they, they, these people were very much habituated of doing such kind of mistakes. So now what will happen guys? Now this guy will come to know that, okay, it means this time I caught. Okay, now he has to approach to the person whoever is having authorization to open and close the period. Okay, so he will he will approach that guy and most likely management or a senior guy will have this. Uh, let's suppose this uh, authorizations. So now he has to approach over there and then he has to accept the mistake. He has to accept the mistake. Then whoever the manager is there, they are going to give a big lecture, right? And then after they will just open the previous period and they will say that in the sense February month they have opened. Okay. February month they have opened. And then, then what will happen guys? Then they will say that don't do this mistake next time onwards. Right. And they will say that whenever you're going to post the transactions in narration field, you just set a mistake and you write certain things. Okay. You will say that you write these descriptions. So even if audit is happening, uh, let's suppose, uh, you know, uh, is posted from like uh, if the auditor is going to make audit and if they found these transactions and all. So anyway, they will come to know that, okay, this was a mistake which was happened and here they have a specified and all. So since being, uh, you know, we are human beings, a few mistakes, of course, that is going to be avoided, right? But now what will happen, guys, with such kind of control, with such kind of control, this user will never do any such mistakes. They, they cannot be like, what will happen? They will, they, they come to know that this time already manager has given me a warning. Next time, if I'm going to the, do the same mistake, they will take some action against me. So now this is how they are going to be more careful. Okay. And next time onwards he is never going to make such mistake. So these kind of controls are there guys in SAP. Okay. Earlier this mistake was such kind of mistakes were being made by users and who was facing this, this, this challenges and who are facing this issues. Of course, management, because if auditor is finding such kind of things and they are saying that I have found several such, you know, entries, which has taken in a different month and it was posted in different month. So the, the, there are lots of you know taxes which was supposed to be deposited in the previous month that was deposited after one month, after two months, 
so this is a malpractice right this is not this is not going to be accepted isn't it so in that case and that is going to be there will be impact on the reputation of the organizations also right so now management is going to suffer they will be worried but they don't know who has done this okay because there will be let's suppose five people 10 people 20 people in invoice posting team but in sap in sap this is not possible why because we are having period open close activities right so even if somebody has made a mistake then easily then then what will happen that previous period is closed new period is open now if they are trying to post any transaction in previous period in the sense previous month system will not allow because previous month is closed okay so this is how there is a control on employee now i'll tell you guys in previous session i have explained that whenever like uh, the sales and marketing team will be there of any organization what will happen guys let's suppose if if any organization is using tally or different erp or still they are maintaining the registers and all so what will happen these people will approach and always sap whatever the sales and you know marketing team is there they will always try to convince the management why because the these this is they are the very important people and decision making capacity is there with the management only and whatever whatever the advantage and disadvantages are there since let's suppose tata tata motor management is very much suffer with such kind of activities always auditor comes and they are going to say that these many what to say mistakes we have found and these these many differences we have found in terms of tax remits and all and in terms of some different different transactions and all so tata motor management is very much worried now this sap people have approached and they are saying that you implement our erp and you forget about this all previous erp or register maintenance or whatever the things are there we are going to give you a control if anybody has made a mistake then what will happen they won't be able to adjust or the entries in the previous month or they won't be able to post the transaction in previous month okay because we are having certain control okay and they will explain this control that what kind of control is there in sap they'll give some kind of demo they'll give some kind of explanations so this is how what is happening guys management is going to be impressed and they will invite these people to implement the sap in their organizations so always guys whenever this sap people like sales and marketing people is going to convince the client they will always motivate and what to say explain these all things to the management only because if such kind if such kind of control if we are going to explain to the ground level people and then if we are going to ask their opinion that guys now you tell me that are you guys ready to accept this sap this is a new erp this functionality that functionality is there whoever the users are there ground floor people are there whoever the basic users are there they will never accept these things because they know that oh my god why should we are going to why should we invite such a things which is going to create a problem for us only right so they will never they will never uh, what to say accept the changes and all but management of course because every management want to have a control on their employee right so now here this time what is happening mr a has been caught and he has to he or she has to approach to the management then what is happening management is going to give a very big lesson a lecture and then they will open february month february month and this is how what is happening once the february month is open then this guy is a is going to post his transaction now there is okay so i'll just do one thing guys i will so first of all so what is happening guys so we have to define this first of all we have to define a posting period variant okay now there is one more thing which may come in your mind what is this variant simply says posting period simply say fiscal year or financial year what is this variant posting period variant fiscal year variant i will let you know this logic also because people will ask this questions during interview what do you mean by variant why we are going to define posting period as a variant 
right? You go to any, what to say, tutorial which is there on YouTube. You go to any, what to say, explanations which is given on Google's and all. But everybody is just saying how to set up this for forcing period variant, isn't it? But what is this variant all about? That questions may be asked by people and you have to reply. So I will explain what is this variant also or why we define posting period as a variant. First of all, let me do the configuration first. Open this login to SAP and then And then we are going to do one thing. Okay, so now here, now here, define posting period variant. So what is the transaction code guys? How to define? Use transaction code OBBO. OBBO. Use transaction code OBBO to define a posting period variant. This T code and path both will be there in your what to say uh, configuration document, guys, which I'll share. So don't worry. Even if you try to, if you if you want to use path, you can use path. You can use transaction code anything. Okay, so press enter and click on new entries. And here posting period variant. So again, we have to give a four digit code. Okay, for posting period variant. So our company code during defining our company code, which code we have given TM04. Now for posting period variant also, I recommend you people to use the same code. TM04 itself here for posting period variant also. Okay, what is the benefit? Okay, somebody has already created this. No, we have defined TM05, right? TM05, we have defined our company code. So we'll do one thing. TM05 supposed to be our posting period variant. Okay, and then press enter. Look at your system is accepted. Why? Because it will be easy to remember. If you are going to use the same code, it will be easy for you guys to remember what is your posting period variant. So your company code is TM05. Keep posting period variant also TM05 itself. Just save it. Control S. Look at here. Transport request is appearing. Don't do anything. Simply press enter. Okay. Now what we have done, we have defined this posting period variant. Now this posting period variant we have defined for Tata Motor. Okay, so this posting period variant I have defined for Tata Motor that I know and even you guys also know because you are listening this lecture. But what about SAP? How SAP will come to know that this posting period variant I have defined for Tata Motor itself. So what we have to do, we are going to assign this posting period variant to Tata Motor. So this is how SAP will come to know that this posting period variant has been created for Tata Motor only. How to assign this variant guys posting period variant. So use transaction code slash n slash n ob bp and press enter. Now here, now here, click on position and give your company code TM05 and press enter. Okay. Oh my God. What about our company code guys? Which company code we have defined? Which company code we have defined earlier guys? 
was it tm05 or a different company could be defined okay i made a mistake i made a mistake guys actually what we have defined we have defined tm00 as a company code so you guys should remember isn't it not tm05 we have defined tm00 as a company code so here slash n ob bo again i am going to define a new fiscal year variant okay sorry posting period variant and give tm00 and i am going to define tm00 as a posting period variant also and save it press enter so now here tm00 was our company code and tm00 also i have defined posting period variant also now this tm0 tm00 i am going to assign to our company code click on position and give tm00 why we are going to assign this because this is how sap will come to know that we have defined this posting period variant for tata motor just save it control s and press enter okay this transport request whatever this transport request is there guys don't worry as i told that there is a separate lecture because there are lots of things to explore even in this transport request also there are several questions will be raised by people right the questions can be like in transport request we are having main request we are having sub request right people will ask when we are going to release the sub tier when we are going to release main tier what is the difference between customized request workbench request and many more other things are also there guys which you will never find anywhere i'll give exclusive explanation on this and during interview because the thing is like whenever interviewer is going to ask the questions first of all you need to understand the questions once you are able to understand the questions you are going to give a very perfect reply and this is how you guys are going to be unique so this is my major uh, objective to make you guys unique that only it is you know possible to get a placements or is simply blind configurations means no use at all so what we have done we have defined our posting period variant and we have assigned our posting period variant with the company code now what what next the next one is we have to open and close the period we have to open and close the period so use slash n o v 52 and press enter so here you just do one thing right now you simply select triple zero one select this triple zero one and copy it click on copy okay this is the standard variant given by sap so now here you make it tm00 and then let's suppose we are using calendar year so calendar year as per calendar year generally in next session i am going to cover fiscal year variant guys and there we are going to define non calendar year so once we define non calendar year then once again i am going to change the posting period variant but i have to make you guys understand about posting period variant so i am going to give you easy example right now let's suppose we are using calendar year in the sense we are following jan to december so which period right now it is march so i am going to give period number 3 2019 to period number 3 2019 and right now for the time being remove these all things okay what is the logic that will be also explained but remove right now press enter press enter and save it so now what is happening here this is our variant tm00 in that we have opened period number 3 from period 3 and 2 period also 3 2019 so what is happening as i said that a has made a mistake and we are in third period in the sense we are in march period we are we are in march month and that guy is trying to post a transactions of february month and he is unable to post this transaction or she is unable to post this transaction why because 
look at here month it is february so whenever you are going to post a transaction system is going to check in background that okay this transaction is getting posted for which company code system found the answer that it is tm00 the company code is tm00 it means this is tata motor so now system is also going to check in background that against tm0 tm00 company code which posting period variant we have assigned so system found that posting period variant is also tm00 itself now again in background system is going to check against tm tm00 which posting period we have opened so here posting period is march third posting period whereas the user is trying to post the transactions for february month so system will see that february month means second period but second period is not open it means second period is not allowed for transaction posting except march no previous period no future period this is the advantage so this a is going to a is going to talk to the management and he or she has to accept the mistake they will promise that going forward we are not going to make this mistake kindly open the previous period so that i can post this invoices because vendor is escalating okay now management has whoever the authorized person is there that authorized person is going to open this period like this second period just save it so second period was also now what is happening here period number second and period number third it means february is also open march is also open both periods are open now this guy uh, is going to post the transactions and february open in the in, in the sense like for might be half an hour 40 minutes 30 minutes it is going to open going to be open and they will say that once you're done with your transaction you let me know so that we are going to close this period so what is happening guys the major use of this one like let's suppose while posting a transaction sometime by mistake you have given a future month like instead of 03 instead of march you have given instead of like here as I told you guys, like instead of, let's suppose 1403, if you have given 04, 2019, this is also not possible guys. So this is a mistake, which unknowingly we have made, but once you get 04, immediately system will check. 04 is open or not? No. It means this, this April month is not open system will throw an error that this posting is not possible then you will re then you will realize oh my god i was making making a mistake i was supposed to give you a 03 so you are going to give 03 isn't it and even by mistake also if you are going to enter february month or any other month system will not allow so this is a kind of mistake also cannot be done okay but yes uh, in same month in same month in the sense like uh, if you are going to post any transactions in March month, instead of 14th, if you have given 24th, then nothing will happen, guys. That is going to be accepted by system. Why? Because system is going to check month-wise. 14th of March. Instead of 14th of March, you have given 24th of March. Okay. So what will happen? So that is, for that also we are having options, guys. Whenever you are going to post any transactions for future period or post past period, then system will throw and warning a warning message okay what is that again i'll show you guys practically once we post the transactions at all you guys are going to be expert of these all things because these things i'm going to show you practically now so what we have done guys we have opened it means management has opened the previous period and then the transaction is the transaction is going to be posted here the transaction is going to be posted by a okay now now what will happen let's suppose along with a now i'll just do one more thing now let's suppose there are few more friends along with a we are having b and c so even and all three are close friend so whatever mistake has made by a that that 
now he just disclosed to his friends that are yaar i uh, got a bit, very big problem i am having they asked what is the problem he said like i forgot to post an invoice in previous month invoice i forgot to post since we have switched to sap so then this is sap is having lots of control i am unable to post this transaction to the previous month so whatever the previous erp we are using that was only better for us because we used to do lots lots of you know adjustment and no one was able to you know find out our mistake but in this sap lots of controls are there i forgot to post the previous month invoice and right now if i'm trying to post in the previous month date system is showing an error month error error message that this is not possible so now i think i have to go to the management i have to accept my mistake and they are going to scold me like anything isn't it they will come to note this is the fellow he this is the fellow who used to make Uh, mistakes or such kind of you know mal practices on regular basis so immediately they are going to give all this lectures and all so i am very much afraid so now what is happening even though this a is explaining this all activity but even b and c is also having similar problem like that guy also made like let's suppose this guy was also supposed to post a transactions in february month let's suppose on a different date and he also forgotten and he is also facing the same challenges and even this guy also might be i'll give a date okay and even c is also having the same issues and he is he is also facing the same challenges but till now till now because of fear he is not disclosing to anybody and he is not asking to anybody so now what is happening this a is saying that now i have to approach to the management and i have to request them that kindly open this previous period for 10 15 minutes so that i could post this transaction because vendor has escalated then this b and c is very clever and they thought okay then let him approach to the management and once the management is going to open the previous period even i am also going to post my transactions at that point of time itself so this is how what will happen guys i am going to escape okay i am going to escape and no one will come to know that even i have also made a mistake and even c is also thinking in the same way that okay let me let him approach the management and let me let me let them open to the period and i'll be also posting my transactions but these people have not disclosed anything with a okay simply they are saying are yaar yes yes you have to approach to the management and just tell them to open the period so that or else there is going to be a big issues okay yes, so accept your mistake but these people are not saying that even the same mistake they have also made so look at here how clever people are now what is happening guys once the management once the management okay so once that a has approached to the management or manager so even managers are also pretty clever guys they knows that there are few more people who might who has made this mistake or might made this mistake and all but those people are not approaching us only this guy has come what about remaining people so what management has done they will keep like this itself okay here march period is open okay now they have to open february month also they are going to do here from period 2 they will open february 2019 and again 2019 so here march is open february is also open <laughs> okay so whenever 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 this a is going to post now when this a is going to post a transaction then what will happen in february month right so system is going to again going to find out for which company code tm00 with this company code which fiscal year sorry which posting period has been assigned that is tm00 itself now system will check okay so now here system will check whether february month february period it means second period is open or not So look at here from period one. In this only March period is open, right? In the sense third period is open. But we are having one more option from period two. 
here system found that this here system found that what february period is open right so february period is open so this guy is going to then system will allow him to post this transaction okay this guy will be allowed for transaction posting but even these people also can be allowed for transaction posting in this case okay i'll just do one thing guys connection got broken so let me log in once again let me log in once again Once again, we are going to use OB52. And then here, click on position and TM00 is our posting period variant. So what I said, here I'll just do one thing. Here it will be like this. And here, here what we are going to do, here we are going to open this February period 2019. And February period 2019 okay so what I said like in this case what is happening this A is going to be A is allowed to post their transactions even B and C also will be allowed to post their transactions but if but why management has given this sorry why they have given this posting period why they have given second uh, period here right if they want to allow everybody, then here itself they will open like February to March. Look at here, February to March is open. But if they have given, if they have given this second period, they have opened in from period two, it means there is certain specific reason. And what is the reason? Then they will open this period two, but they are going to add a clause here and they are going to, let's suppose, assign an authorization group look at here this is called last column authorization group this is very important guys and people will ask questions related to this okay so what is the use of this authorization group or like they will ask this scenario whichever i'm going to cover right now okay there are lots of other questions also can be asked from these things so once I share after completion of this batch, once I share the interview question and answer, already I have compiled all the questions, what people are going to ask and what you have to reply. Okay, theoretically and practically both explanations, once again you will be finding, so your entire journey is going to be very easy. But if you understand these all concepts right now, then what will happen, whichever question answers I'll share guys, you just need to refer, once you refer again, entire things are going to be refreshed and this is how you guys will be pretty much comfortable during interview and you guys are going to crack the interview also very easily. Now here, so what I'm saying that posting period second, February month we have opened and February month we have opened in the sense management has opened but they have applied a clause here in the sense they have given a restrictions. What is that restrictions? This February period is open against this authorization group against XYZ only and then what is happening then with the help of basis consultant basis consultant also will come into picture in this okay whenever authorizations are coming into picture but anyway I have to make you guys this concept uh, I have to explain so what is happening guys against this XYZ against this XYZ authorization group okay what is happening guys this user id of a is going to be linked okay user id of a is going to be linked against xyz so here if a is going to post this transactions for february month system will search for which company code tm0 TM00 for which we fill posting period variant again that is TM00 itself is assigned and here system found that against TM0 TM00 
third period is open so here no pos possibilities but from period 2 already now here second period is open but again system will see oh my god here authorization group is also there it means this second period is, second period is open against this authorization group so in background system is going to check against this authorization group which user id has been linked and system found that this is the user id of a so a will be allowed to post a transaction in february month at the same time this b and c these people came to know that previous period is open it means february period is open february month is open and a is going to post the transactions simultaneously these people are also sitting side side by side so they are also they will open their system and they started posting the transactions now they will be very much surprised oh my god a is able to post the transactions why we people are getting the issues why we are getting errors right so these people whenever they are going to post these transactions once again system is going to find out all those things like which company code tm00 it's okay which posting period variant against tm00 tm00 we are having tm00 itself a posting period variant against this tm00 once again here third period is open so in this cannot be posted but second period is also open but this second period is open for authorization group xyz and if system is going to check against xyz only one user id is linked this b and c system is unable to find so b and c is not allowed to post any transaction in previous month in previous period so now these people these people also again these people also will come to know that manager has played something certain games and all and then that now actually he has given authorization to particularly a only remaining people have been restricted to post the transaction in previous month i'll tell you guys there will be a very important questions which is going to be asked by interviewer here also so now what is happening b and c is restricted to post the not only b and c entire other employees are restricted to post their transaction in previous month so what is happening now these people also these people also is going to approach to the manager and they will also have to accept their mistake and then manager what they are going to do again they are going to give a huge lecture to these people also and they will scold them like anything that because of you guys earlier we, we have faced lots of issues next time onwards if you guys are going to make the same mistake then just get ready for the consequence and all right so again this this people will be very much careful next time onwards because they know that we have already made a mistake and already we have approached with the management now second time if we are going to make a mistake then again they will be very much angry so next time onwards this guy will be very much careful and they will not try to make any such kind of mistake so these kind of controls are there guys now here the question will be like people will ask can we open a particular period for certain user or certain set of user might be for one guys might be for five people might be for 10 people or 20 people you have to say yes it is possible and how it is possible then you have to say it is possible actually in in uh, what to say ob52 we are having an options or we are having a column called authorization group so generally if we have to open a period for a particular user then what is happening we are going to open this period against that particular authorization group we are going to open the required period against that particular authorization group and against that authorization group what is happening guys the whatever the required users are there their user id will be linked okay so whenever we are going to whenever those people are going to post the transactions system will allow them system will allow them because the previous period has been open but that is open against particular authorization group itself and in that authorization group whichever users are linked those users are only allowed for posting remaining people will not be allowed for posting since their user id is not what to say uh, linked against that authorization group so this is the logic 
now here i told you guys one more thing and then i'll finish this session because already this one look at here one posting period variant how much you know huge it is even if i uh, there are lots of other things also to discuss but that will be shared during interview question and answer guys and now i have to explain one more thing i told you guys why posting period we are going to create as a variant or what do you mean by variant right so i'll tell you guys variant means what variant means reusable variant is a reusable configuration or variant is reusable setup so posting period we have created as a variant it means it can uh, reusable configurations means it can be used by even other company code also i have created let's suppose a company code tm01 this is tata motor forget about tm00 this is your company code i'm just quoting an example tm01 this is tata motor ts01 this is tata steel tc01 this is tata chemical right or let's suppose uh, we are having other like uh, tata motor is sorry tata group is having several subsidiary now we have let's suppose these all companies this tata group belongs to india so they are going to they are going to follow let's suppose they are going to follow non calendar year april to march okay so as per april to march now their new year since we are in march right so this is last period guys march means what last period their new year is going to be started from april onwards once i cover fiscal year variant guys in next session i'm going to cover fiscal year variant and again this examples i'm going to give in details and i'll tell you guys once i once we do the basic settings and all then we have to perform fewer settings related to gl and all and once i post a transaction i'll show the same thing practically so that these all things will be there as a picture you know like it will be permanently it is going to be set up in your mind and you may forget the configuration steps but concept you guys are not going to forget at all okay this concept will be always in your mind and this is how you guys are going to be pretty much stronger compared to all other people or all, all other competitors whoever is there in the market now just listen here so what is happening i have created one posting period variant okay that is tm00 tm00 and this we have assigned with tata motor okay this we have assigned with tata motor so whenever you post any transaction against tata motor whenever you post any transaction against tata motor system is going to find which posting period variant we have linked and again system is going to see here that tm double against tm00 against tm00 what is happening okay against the connection is broken so against tm against tm00 we have opened march period right forget about these things now march period we have opened so now march period means now i'll just do one thing guys i'm talking about non calendar year indian companies means they are going to use non calendar year so march march month is which period guys march month will be 12th period because march is last month last month right so i will just do one thing and april is first period because april onwards again new year is going to be started for all this indian organizations so use ob52 once again and once again click on position and give your posting period variant tm00 and here give 12th period 12th period means what 12th period means and give your 2018 this logic i'll explain guys because still we are in 2018 itself right when 2019 is going to come 2019 is going to come from april onwards okay because here the companies are falling following april to march so tata motor is following april to march concept we are in march and march is last period means 12th period right so now this is open okay 
So we have created one posting period variant and that we have assigned posting period variant and we have assigned with data model. What I said that variant is reusable, a reusable setup. It means it can be used by other company code also. Okay, whatever if you are going to set up anything as a variant that can be used by several company code. It means the same variant can be assigned against all company code. Same variant can be assigned against all company code, right? And if you are going to assign the same variant against all company code, it means whenever you are going to open a period, let's suppose 12th period, it means March month. If you open March month against TM00, it means what is happening? This March month is open against for Tata Motor also, Tata, Tata Steel also, and Tata Chemical also. Because all our Indian companies and everybody's every units are going to follow this, going to follow this, uh, what to say, uh, April to March concept itself, right? Here there might be certain questions coming into your mind, guys, but there are lots of different, you know, topics which is yet to come. So I think uh, right now we are at very, what to say, basic or beginning, uh, what to say, stage itself. That is why I am not going to explain in too much deeply and all. Uh, of course, there will be. So once I post the transactions and all, I show these all things practically so that it will be pretty easy for you guys to understand. Right now, I have to explain theoretically itself, right? So what I'm doing, guys, so this posting period variant, posting period variant, why we are going to set up this variant, posting period as a variant, because variant is reusable transactions and it can be, it can be assigned, it can be used by several kind, you know, company code. It means it can be assigned against several company code. Or is there will be one more question which can be asked by people that, let's suppose, we are having a company code TM01 that is your Tata motor, right? So what we have done, why to create a posting period variant and then why to open the period against posting period variant, right? Here we have created posting period variant here and then we are going to open this period against posting period variant itself. So why to do these things, isn't it? Why can't we open a posting posting period directly against company code itself. Instead of TM00, create this posting period variant and assign against company code. And then you are going to open this posting period variant against your, uh, sorry, uh, you are going to open posting period against this posting period variant. So instead of doing this, why can't we open directly period against company code itself? Why are we going to, uh, you know, increase the steps? So the answer is yes. Posting period variant is reusable transaction, guys. And uh, let's suppose if Tata Group is having 100 company codes, it means they're having 100 subsidiaries, right? So if we are going to open this posting period, let's suppose 12th period, company code wise, then the same activity you have to perform 100 times every month and we are going to open, let's suppose next period. Uh, so what is happening? against all 100 company code, we have to open period one by one, right? But since if every company codes are going to follow April to March itself, then what is happening? Create a posting period variant and assign this posting period variant against all 100 company code. And here the benefit is once you open this posting period here, let's suppose against your posting period variant, it means 12th period means March month then March month is going to be open, open against all company code, whichever has been linked with this posting period variant. Create one posting period variant and assign this posting period with all 100 company code. And if you have opened a particular period again, this posting period variant, it means that period is open against all 100 company code. If you are going to close a particular period, then that period is going to be closed against all 100 company code. Okay, so this is the benefit guys. This is why SAP is saying that you have to create a posting period variant, assign this posting period variant with company code, and then you have to open and close the period against this variant itself. Okay, so guys, this is a very long explanation and I think more than one hour I have given this explanation and all and the topic I have covered only one that is posting period variant, right? We are having lots of topics to discuss. 
in basic settings. So we'll do one thing, guys. Now uh, we are having fiscal year variant and field status variant, whatever other explanations are there. That is going to be discussed in detail in next session. So that's all here in this session, guys. And that's all for today.